Welcome to Redemption Today Podcast. My name is Rigo Mercado, and on this podcast, I provide Bible teaching that encourages and helps Christians grow in faith, live in victory, and exercise all their redemptive rights in Christ. Let's jump right into today's Bible lesson. Today, we start a new study on the Holy Spirit. You know, the Holy Spirit has a special role in my life because the Holy Spirit is God. And if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, we, we would have never got to know Jesus personally. The Holy Spirit reveals Jesus to our hearts. You know, when you heard the gospel for the first time, it was the Holy Spirit who told you that what you were hearing was true, that you indeed needed a Savior. He convicted you of your sin, and He revealed that Jesus is your righteousness. So over the next few weeks, I want to take time to introduce and talk about the person and work of the Holy Spirit in the life of every believer. You know, because Jesus died and rose again, he redeemed us. And part of our inheritance in Christ is that God lives inside of us. Isn't that amazing? That God himself, through the Holy Spirit, lives inside every believer. So I want to start off by going to Colossians chapter 2, verses 8 through 9. And in order to understand the Holy Spirit, we have to realize that God is one God in three persons. He's God the Father, God the Son, or God the Word, and God the Holy Spirit. We know God the Father, we know Jesus as God the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is also a person. So in Colossians chapter 2, verses 8-9, through 9, the Apostle Paul says, Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit, according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him... In Jesus dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So here in the scripture, it says that in Jesus dwells the fullness of God or the Godhead. What is the Godhead in scripture? The Godhead is what we call the Trinity, which is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. When Jesus walked the earth, Jesus was God in man, 100% God, 100% man. God the Son became a man through the through Mary, through the Virgin Mary, he was born into this earth to redeem us. So when Jesus walked the earth, he was showing us who God the Father is. He was empowered by the Holy Spirit. Jesus himself is God. So the Godhead speaks of the Trinity. And although the word Trinity is not in the Bible, the the principle of the Trinity, the teaching of the Trinity is there through scriptures like we just read, where it talks about the Godhead. Now, here's an illustration of the Trinity in action in the scriptures. One God and three persons. They're distinguishable, distinguishable, but they're indivisible. One God and three persons. So, in Matthew 3, verse 16, it says, talking about when Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist, when he, talking about Jesus, had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were open to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. So here we see Jesus in the water. He's coming up from the water. So we see God the Son in the water. And then we see the Holy Spirit coming and alighting upon him like a dove upon his shoulder. And then we hear a voice from heaven which is God the Father saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. So here we see God the Father speaking from heaven. We have Jesus coming up from the waters and the Holy Spirit coming upon Jesus like a dove. Here we see the Godhead in action, the Trinity, the Holy Trinity. And in Matthew 28, verse 19, when Jesus gave the disciples the Great Commission, he commanded them to baptize his disciples in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. That's found in Matthew 28, verse 19. He says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So again there in Matthew 28, we see an example of the Trinity. And then again in 2 Corinthians 13, uh, verse 14, the Apostle Paul gives a benediction to the church there in Corinth. And he says this, May the Lord Jesus Christ, God the Son, and I'm adding, I'm adding this here. Uh, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, we see Jesus there, and the love of God, 
Here we see the Father. And the communion of the Holy Spirit, here we see the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Again, the whole scripture in its entirety. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So again, here we see the Trinity spoken of in scripture. Why is that important to understand? It is because God the Father, who is the creator, right, sent Jesus, who is the Son, the Word of God, into the earth to redeem us from our sins. God became a man to redeem us from our sins. He died. He was buried. And the third day, he rose again for our salvation. And then he ascended into heaven and is seated right now at the right hand of the Father. And then Jesus promised that he will send another comforter just like himself. Another comforter. And that comforter is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is God Almighty who resides in the heart of every believer. Thank you for listening to the Redemption Today podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider subscribing or even rating and reviewing so that more people can connect with us and be blessed by these teachings. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time.